How long have you been a band? Oh, we've, we've, we've been playing together since 1990. Um... And uh, we we all got together. We all lived in a little town in Virginia, and we started playing. And and so we've been doing it steady for about ten years now. How much do you practice? Well, sadly, we don't practice that much, but we play all the time. So so uh, that that keeps us in practice. We when we start tours, uh, we uh, we're usually a little rusty, but. We usually spend a couple of days working. We're going to have to practice. We're working on a new album now, and it's all new songs, so we're going to have to practice more than we're used to. But when we first started, we practiced all the time in my mom's basement, and uh, and we practiced we practiced for about two years and played whenever we could. But now now we're sort of running on the old engines and assuming that we know each other well enough that we can fit in. What got you interested in music? I think the first thing that, uh, the first band that I ever listened to when I was five was the Jackson Five. And, uh, and that was, I think, initially because they had five in their name and, and I was five years old. But, uh, but after that, I, I always loved music. There was always music when I was a kid growing up in my house and, uh, and my parents listened to music. So I loved music all my life. And, uh, I think though when I I started playing guitar when I was about nine, and I was obsessed by the Beatles, and so that's when when uh, oh the, there's a big show going on behind us. Can you hear the big shows going on? And Red Hot Chili Peppers burning it up over there. Um, but but and and the thing that keeps me interested in music, you know, uh, uh, when I was growing up, Neil Young and uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash were my heroes and still are my heroes see they agree they agree they all agree Neil Young Neil Young and uh, and I listened to and, and Neil the music that the songs that Neil wrote and that Crosby Stills and Nash wrote were songs that I used to play all the time when I was a kid in practice and it was uh, they're a huge inspiration so to be up on stage with those guys is is uh, is sort of a dream come true for me I really love Pokemon. What one of your favorite things when you were a kid? You love Pokemon. My nephew loves Pokemon too. Um, I, I tried to play the card game of Pokemon and I failed dismally. I just didn't know. I, I couldn't. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So maybe later on you can teach me a little bit more about Pokemon. But uh, I, uh, I, um, what were my favorite games as a kid? Uh, my sister used to always beat me badly at Monopoly, um, but I used to I used to play uh, I used to play with my GI Joes quite a bit and make them do unnatural things to my sister's Barbies, and uh, and that was uh, that was good fun, but uh, not for my sister, but for me it was so. What's your favorite thing about performing at the Bridge Concert? Um, you, we, run it, run it. I heard Bridge Concert, but I didn't hear the rest. Hold on. What's your favorite thing about performing at the Bridge Concert? Well, the, the coolest thing at the Bridge Concert, one of the coolest things at the Bridge Concert, is uh, is is the whole mood that Neil and Peggy set up here. It makes everyone feel really welcome. It makes everyone feel it's like a family feeling here. It's sort of like going to a barbecue on Sunday. And I uh and I love it that there's no weird attitudes here and 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 love playing for you kids too. It's really a pleasure for us and and uh and we and just it, everything about it is so is 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 generous. Everything about it is is cool. So uh so that makes that makes the whole mood here great. And there's so much good music. And uh, and uh, so we'll do it whenever we can. We'll look forward to next year after this year's over. What makes performing at the Bridge School concert different than other concerts? Well, one thing, you know, well, everyone's unplugged. I mean, it's all acoustic, so that 
that that makes it a little bit different. But actually, it doesn't make it that different for for us because we always play acoustically. So so we're kind of cheating because um, we well we just always play unplugged. But uh, um, uh, this I think the special thing is that it that it's a that it's a bunch of different artists and that it's and it's for people and it's to look after. Um, People that that we all love and respect and that deserve to be with with each other, and deserve to be we deserve to be together and with each other, jamming out with everybody here. And I don't know the I'm lucky to be here, and that's all. I can't I can't think a good a better reason to be here other than to get together and play music for the for the cause of love. Anything else? That's it. Okay, well, thanks a lot for asking me some intelligent questions. I hope that I answered them reasonably well. It's nice to meet you, Dan. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us here, too. Take it easy.